awesome night. Get out of the house. Go outside. Do it for us. It's going to be that kind of an evening. Let's take a look right now at those temperatures. You see we're in the upper 80s, low 90s. Not bad for Jacksonville, Florida, southeast Georgia, northeast Florida. You can see the temperatures remaining right there in the mid to upper 80s, low 90s right now. All the way from southeast Georgia through northeast Florida. So it's going to be an evening you'll love. Get outside if you can, but take a bottle of water with you because the heat index makes Orange Park feel like 91 Green Cove Springs you feel like 95 but cleaning 97 and 95 for brunswick and st mary's going down south palaka good evening to you feels like 93 91 for palm coast this was a great day to go to the beach take a look at exact track 4d radar nothing to track as far as rain but what we do have is that rip current risk keep that in mind i'll talk more about that in just a moment if you're headed to the game it'll be clear skies this evening 87 degrees for the game against the bucks good luck to the jaguars now take a look Look at this rip current risk going from the Florida Georgia border off the coast all the way down just north of Miami. It will stay this way for a couple of days due to Hurricane Ernesto. However, overall, those surface winds are calm below 10 miles per hour, even along the coast. But take a look at this beautiful view at Jacksonville Beach. Folks still enjoying it out there, but keep in mind it is dangerous out there, so stay out of the ocean due to those rip current risk. 87 degrees at the beach, humidity makes it feel more like 90. And Nice little breeze coming from the east southeast at eight miles per hour. But taking a look ahead, let's take a look at what we're going to be dealing with into the evening. Again, tonight is going to be absolutely beautiful. Going into the early morning hours, if you decide to head out and party, warm air still coming from the south, it'll feel great. In the morning, you'll get a wonderful sunrise for Sunday. And then we got winds coming from the uh, west and also going to be in, in confluence and in convergence rather with that cold front that's going to be coming from the northwest. Rain will begin around 4 p.m. on Sunday and continue into the evening hours, finally uh, dying out around midnight. And then we have that cold front moving through on Monday. And as that makes its way through, it could also instigate a little bit of rain as well on Monday in the afternoon when you head back to work between 2 and 7 p.m. So that's what you're going to be dealing with when it comes to the next 48 hours. But tonight, you do not need an umbrella. Now, keep in mind as we track the tropics, Bermuda still remaining a Category 1 hurricane. Those speeds right now sustained at 75 miles per hour, and it's going to continue to move along the Atlantic, making its way, then moving north and northeast out towards Spain. It will eventually become a tropical storm, but right now it's maintaining its stability as a hurricane at 75 miles per hour at a cut right on the cusp of being a category one, right between a hurricane category one and a tropical storm. Back here at home, where will the temperatures be? Very pleasant in the mid to upper 70s into the early early morning hours of Sunday, so you may still leave the air on or not. But also tomorrow, the highs are back in the 90s across the board. And this doesn't even include the heat index. So from southeast Georgia to northeast Florida, you will be in the mid to upper 90s tomorrow. Keep that in mind and add at least three to five degrees to that for the heat index for the feels like temperature. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Our low 76 for Sunday, a high of 95. Remember those rain chances about 30%. Monday 50%, Tuesday 60%, Wednesday 30, Thursday 50, 70% on Friday, 